top social media platforms for nail techs 2021. We're going to do a little refresh and give you an update on what they are today, right now, on the Biz Talk. Tracy, I created a new social media platform. It's called Habib. And all it is, it's super simple. You just log in and it's a picture on my face. And it just blesses everybody's phone and lives of millions of users. So, and it's free. So it's one of those new apps that you actually pay us to download? <laughs> no, no, no. You're not listening. It's free. It's free. And everybody should go look it up to have your life... Um, you know, touched by my presence of some sort. You know what I'm saying? That's my sales pitch. How was it? Horrible. <laughs> okay. I Maybe have, I'll put that project on hold. I have no words. <laughs> All right. Um, we've talked about this in the past, like uh, social media platforms for the nail professional, what you should be on, what may be kind of a priority list. I wanted to do an update for 2021. Um, it's something that we haven't talked about. And I think it's important because as you guys know, all we do is stress. Obviously, you've got to get your technique down. You've got to get your speed down on the nail side. Yes, but you're running your own business. You need the marketing part. Uh, you've got to have both. There's no, in my opinion, you you cannot argue this the importance of having a presence on social media. So um, the question is, where should you be? There's 20 billion freaking social media platforms well, and thing. sites. That's why you have to do the refresh, right? Or yes. remix. I don't exactly. know. Yeah, I, don't I, like, I like that, remix. Trace, the little remix. Yeah, <laughs> because it keeps changing. It does. It like, does. Another one's here. Is that one going to be good? Is that yeah. <laughs> like... It's, it gets confusing. It really, really gets confusing. Um, so here are kind of my like top two, I'm going to say, right now of where you absolutely 100% have to be. And then we'll start to talk about some of the other ones, uh, some new ones that have come out and so on and so forth. But okay. for me, Instagram and TikTok still for nail professionals there's there's no argument. I disagree. I'm thinking MySpace. <laughs> what about that new Tracy app? It's an awesome app. Is that a good app? It's an awesome app. Is that the one where... It's only $100 per month. <laughs> $100 just, per click. I just need a few people to do it. <laughs> you just need one, Trace. <laughs> it's $1 million and I just you need You just need one. one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Instagram and yeah, TikTok. Instagram and Is TikTok. Is that equal? Or so this is what I'll say. Um, I'll say Instagram is still number one. Okay. TikTok is not far behind, but let me, let me kind of, I want to talk. I think this is important to understand. Okay. Cause we are on these platforms night and day constantly, <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally, yeah. right? Instagram, you absolutely have to be there. It's, it's a very mature platform for the nail industry. And what I mean by that is we can talk about hardcore education on Instagram and there's such a large community of nail pros or hardcore nail enthusiasts, people that are really into nails to that level to where it gets that like the uh, our education is getting like Tons of exposure. There's an audience, like a like a mature yeah. male audience for it. Okay. Would you agree? Totally. I so, want to disagree, but totally. But you can't. I can't. Just because it's you. <laughs> but you can just disagree because it's me, if you like. Give it a shot. I agree to disagree. With mm, getting tricky. Mm. We're getting tricky. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going downhill. It's going downhill fast. So TikTok. TikTok is changing so fast. So when we first joined TikTok, um, the audience was much different. It was yeah. it was primarily a very very young audience, yeah. um, and we were posting 
we would post like hardcore education and it wasn't really doing <laughs> yeah just eh, it wasn't doing well and the reason why is because the audience wasn't there yet right so we experimented a lot and we started out posting a lot of like satisfying videos so like these real tight close-up shots of like an acrylic pearl and then a time lapse so cool. sped up of it going down the nail yeah right and that just crushed for us like we we got to, you know, I think one and a half million followers or something like really quick. As a matter of fact, we had the top uh, cosmetic post in 2019. 2019, Young Nails was number one in the cosmetic category. Think that's about insane. that. Yeah, how crazy that's, is that? That's crazy. Yeah. A nail company. A nail company was number one in the, in the uh, beauty. I think it was beauty category. So, um, but it changed. So what's happened is TikTok... Um, the audience has changed, more people are using it, different ages. If you look now, for example, you'll see there's like, you know, an insurance guy doing funny TikToks, building his business, yeah. an attorney giving out quick advice, chefs, how many cooking freaking, you know, chefs do I watch on TikTok now, right. right, for education purposes. So TikTok has kind of turned into this like short one minute education sessions. Now, I know you can go longer than a minute on TikTok, but People go to TikTok to consume things fast. They're not looking for long form education. I, right? I, I, I'm having a hard time with the three minute. Yeah, it has to be really good for me to keep watching. It's just like, on TikTok. why won't this end? Yeah. Even sometimes the minute is too long. Like, I'll I'm, just move on. <laughs> dude, I agree with you, Tracy. Yeah. That platform is, it's like the king of short form content. Yeah. You just, know? Just long enough to get the info. That's it. You just need it long enough to get the info. Um, so what does that mean? So the platform has changed. So now we are doing a lot of education content on TikTok and it's crushing. You know, we've hit some ups and downs. Don't get me wrong. Like we had a period of time where um, things were not going well on TikTok and I was experimenting with education and all kinds of videos. It's but so I, yeah, it was just like going down. Right. Um, but now we've kind of hit this stride again through experimentation which is what you have to do and and also a combination of the platform is maturing and what I mean by that is TikTok is maturing I'm speaking of nails only okay I don't know about the rest of the world I can only speak <laughs> I, I to nails I think it is yeah I think, for sure I think in total TikTok yeah. is maturing I, I agree with you yeah. right like there's just different kinds of content on there yeah um, and I think that's where you see a good sign of a platform maturing is like when you go to a platform to learn, you know, you can get education, not just like crazy entertainment to some guy knocking yeah. his head against the wall well, or falling down. you get the down. mindless, which I love. There you go. And the education. There you go. It's a good mix. It's right a now. good mix. You're right. That's yeah. kind of what TikTok is. You can get the mindless, but then you can also get good education content. So what does that mean for you? A lot of people, I think right now, TikTok is still the number one downloaded app over Instagram um, and Facebook. Yeah, I think Instagram is number three currently, if I'm not mistaken. I just saw like an updated list. So TikTok is still number one. You got to be on it. You know what I mean? I, and, I totally agree. And I, I mean, kind of coming from someone that's just on TikTok and I have fun with do A lot. Yeah, I'm on it a lot. <laughs> but posting here or there. Totally. Um, totally. You know, th rather than a company, yeah. um, it's it's finding that, again, it's the same thing, finding out what actually works. I've tried a few things. Yeah. What seems to work for me is the voice, you know, the, the mimicking the voice. I yeah. don't even know what you call that. But I'm having fun. Have fun with it. And But I think, especially if I was in salon, it would be so important because you get to show your personality. Totally. And I think people really enjoy that. Like, there, you know what? That's that, that you know that hairdresser because I watch a lot of hair. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> there, there, there's two girls that I just love their stuff, their vibe. I wish they were in this town because, yeah. and I, and not only is they given a little piece of education, they're doing the funny stuff and what client, you know, the the things that clients do that drive them crazy. Right. Don't take it as an insult. Um. So I think. Um, just not even coming from the business, uh, uh, purely education product, product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. I see As, what you're saying. But coming from you, you know, maybe more of a nail person. It's yeah. so vital. Like 
get your personality out there. Yeah, I, Tracy found a good, she's a great example of this because you found a very good like kind of niche like where you felt like you played with stuff and you're like, I like this stuff. I like it. You know, and you like doing it and it shows and you've had a couple of your own personal TikToks that have done really well. Yeah. When Tracy does these TikToks where she does like the voice mimicking, but she does it like nail version, like nail tech edition, and we post them on our Instagram, they crush, like they just smash. They do insanely well. Um, and you've built up your own personal TikTok, you know, over, yeah. what do you have, like 1,500 followers? 14 something. Yeah, 14 yeah, something, almost. exactly. But so, it took, it's taken time. It takes it time, takes man. It takes time. And, um, but what you just said, I don't think people sometimes think about this. The TikTok can go on Instagram. That's right. You don't have to do all this separate work. Yeah. Right? You, you, you can cross uh, post, I'll say. We do that a lot, yeah. you know, and, and that's the thing is like a lot, sometimes the, the post maybe won't do that well on TikTok and then we post on our Instagram and it gets like 120,000 views. Yeah, you are like, done holy, quite a few of those, a lot of them, yeah. you know, they actually do really well on IG. So it's finding, I love that though, like finding your personality, you don't have to do the exact same thing on both channels, but you can cross post and see how they do. But I'm a huge fan of showing personality and kind of who you are on your content. I think, I think it's a great way to I do think it. TikTok gives, I think because there's so much of it on TikTok, yeah. whereas Instagram, people feel more like it's like the proper, you know, yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, totally. Whereas TikTok, yeah, you can bring out that little personality of yours and, and get, the, you know, I, I just can't even say it enough. Like, I wish these two hairdressers were in here because I would go to both of them. <laughs> For sure. Just because of their personality yeah i like that i think tiktok gives you a little permission to like be silly be silly um because you see a lot of that stuff on there but uh those would be my two picks okay. um as top now let's talk about long form content youtube um if you have patience and if you love to educate as a nail tech, I think it's a good idea to start your own youtube channel and create long form content if you like it because um, if you showed, like if you started building a clientele and it's like you have a YouTube channel and you're showing all this amazing education, you can do it on Instagram, obviously Instagram, TikTok is number one, but if you like long form content, like I actually, that's my number one type of content. I love long form. Yeah. You know, I'm not a huge fan of, I, of course I love short form for the mindless stuff and I have quick education, how to cook steak on TikTok. But my number one passion I love is long form content for right. me, you know. But again, it can be chopped up into small. Into small pieces of content. But exactly. What I wanted to ask you, uh, and I just thought about this, is because we have started posting some of our short form on YouTube. Yeah. What if people just did that? You you, you could do that too. They're called YouTube shorts. Yeah. Um, you they allow you to post those and we have been doing it and they've been actually doing really well yeah. so you can mix it up also you can totally mix it up that. yeah okay 100 percent. you can okay and, and then it's good like if you if you do have the time and like that long form and you just chop it up and you you'll get a ton of content I mean, how much short micro do you think we get from one long video it depends on the video but like you can get anywhere from you know six to seven short videos and I mean up to 12 maybe sometimes 15 if there's a lot in there right of micro content so think about that one long form video you can take that long form video post it on YouTube you can post it on IGTV you can post it on Facebook and then you go in there and cut up a bunch of micro content let's say you get 10 pieces of content now you've got 10 other posts that you can post on TikTok post on IG on Instagram yeah. on Facebook it just goes a long yeah. way. You know, it's it's what you should do if you're going to get into the long form content game. So I still like YouTube in the long form content. When I say long form content, I'm talking about, you know, five minutes and up, let's say, for for a video. Uh, for me, qualifies as like long form. I think some people even go three and up can qualify as long form. But it's just, it's not your short 15, 20 second videos. You right. know what I'm saying? Um, then there, there's Clubhouse, which is kind of a new one, which mm. is interesting. I think, I mean, we've played around with it a little bit. We haven't gone on there in a little while. Um, I think it's got a little bit of ways to go. I Like, if I'm going to give you where you should be right now, 
Um, maybe go on there and listen to some stuff, check it out. But uh, in terms of creating content, it's not my number one for you right now if you're a nail professional. Yeah. Number one priority has got to be TikTok and um, Instagram and then YouTube if you want to do some long form content. Um, Snapchat, I think, is still relevant. You Definitely. can You can take Instagram stories and you can repost them on Snapchat. It's worth checking out. It's definitely maybe not top, top, top of the list. I keep hearing, I'm going to say less and less of Snapchat, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, I know that, like, let's say it's, it's really interesting because I taught a class. Um, I taught a marketing class earlier this year with ninth graders. Okay. They still use Snapchat. Okay. I, I, that makes sense to me for yeah. what the, the purpose that they use it for. It's Correct. very quick, um, random. Yeah. I almost, but, and, um, and then it disappears. And so. then it disappears. Totally. So it's kind of how they communicate. Yeah. So I would say maybe for high schoolers, they're still using it, but I'll tell you younger than that, that like uh, when I ask Mila Snapchat, she's like, yeah. you know, she's going to go into sixth grade. She's not even, it's TikTok for her yeah. and YouTube. You it's, know what Snapchat reminds me of? messaging yeah it's like a text message it is it's like text yeah it totally is that that disappears yeah you know but but instagram has that now yeah instagram essentially took all of what snapchat was doing and they just put it into instagram and well and with reels they're trying to do it kind of with tiktok it's working let's put it in there you know what about um facebook facebook still relevant um it it is an it's an older demographic but still relevant i mean Look, if you're going to bring in an older demographic as clients, you should do it. And, Absolutely. Right? Yeah. You're, you're not going to say, I don't take anybody over 40 in my salon. Nope. All 40 and under, Tracy. I'm not going to do it. You mean the 40-year-olds, man. They tip well. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So definitely Facebook. Thank you. Yeah. And I think that's an easy one because Facebook and Instagram, you can link. Um, so if you're going to post on Instagram, it'll post on Facebook, still relevant. See, it all kind of trickles though. Like that's, that's what I think people get so overwhelmed. Oh, I have to have all this content. No, TikTok can go to Instagram. Instagram, when you post on there, can go to Facebook. Yeah. It's all very... Yeah, th- there's a lot that you can cross. I think Instagram and Facebook, you just connect them and whatever you post on one, it posts on the just other. Straight I th- to it. I think that's just fine. For TikTok, I feel like you should create content that's different i like what tracy was saying you can get more personality into yeah. it i mean you can do that on instagram as well you totally can but you've got to kind of find your vibe on tiktok but still whatever you post there take them and post them on instagram you know what i mean you could still cross post um but i li- i like creating some original content for tiktok um but definitely facebook and instagram they're they're right there. Yeah. I mean, those things are 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 dialed in together. There's no reason to create uh, separate, you know, posts for for those two. What would be your like, maybe not completely in this but uh, topic, but if you were to give someone because the anxiety, the anxiety, I I get it when I'm trying to create content. Yeah. What would be your number one advice to someone that's like, I can't do it. I just I I can't do it. I I I have too much anxiety. About that post. Uh, so you have a post and you have too much anxiety about or posting? Or just creating. Cause, oh, creating. Because I, I find that l- most people are looking for the perfect piece of content. Yeah. Doesn't exist, number one. And it takes practice of, how do I say this? You have to get used to the feeling of putting it out there. There's no way to get over it except by just actually posting it and doing it. And 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 the perfection thing is huge because that's totally, totally an illusion. I think a lot of people don't post because they're afraid of what their peers mostly are gonna say. Make fun of me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, you know why? Cause I, you know, like if we have a sale, for example, Young Nails. And I do the, you know, we've got a sale song, right? I, I, which I love doing. It's so wacky. and But I Please, have so much if fun. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's time for sale, right? So, but I also post that on my personal Instagram where right. all my friends follow, family members follow, mm-hmm. you know, uh, and they see that. <laughs> and in, 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 in my head, 
Dude. Is everything okay? Is everything okay with Habib? So I understand. Blink if you need help. Dude, I, so I, you know, at my, I walked into my, um, uh, jujitsu gym and a lot of the guys follow me and I follow mm-hmm. them too, right? They all know I'm in the nail business, yeah. but they haven't seen that type of content. So I posted it and one of the guys was like, so did they let you do that? Did they let you? <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I'm the CEO. <laughs> I'm like, well, it's, 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 I'm one of the owners of the company. So, uh, they can't, nobody can stop me from doing <laughs> it. He can post it himself. Yeah. But he was laughing. He's like, He's like, that's that's funny, man. Like, I, like, did you make that? I was like, yeah, I just kind of pumped out the song. And I, you know, I'm like, I, this is what I told him. I said, I like to put my personality, me, uh, whether you like it or not, in our content. Because I, like what you said earlier, I have fun. To mm-hmm. me, that's fun. And so nobody's going to stop me from doing that. And he was just having a ball with it. He thought it was hilarious. But I get why somebody doesn't post because you are concerned with like next time I see that person they're gonna look at me you know I'm making these videos and you know what I mean yeah no I know but because I I don't really think about sometimes when I post on my personal page people I run into the gym scene you know like you said yeah Pilates class and I'm like in Pilates class and they're start the the instructors making comments about my TikToks while while I'm working out I'm just like you kind of get that oh oh my god but they love it and they're having fun and you know what I find that if you just do yourself rather than trying to do an edited version of yourself it's going to turn out so much better absolutely absolutely I completely agree with you um so that's like you know setting up the, the 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 top platforms to to be on right now i guess those would be it i mean linkedin is still you know i, I think it's still there i think you i think it's not a lot of effort to just kind of repost your nails on there yeah. a lot of people are like well why would i do that i think you know getting some exposure to the business community is not yeah. a bad thing um but like top no question you've got and a lot of people are like well the, i knew that you know of course instagram tiktok <laughs> Yeah, but I am telling you from a perspective of we are pumping out content on these platforms every single day, you know, hardcore and TikTok and Instagram, you must be on, period, end of story. Um, One thing that's interesting too is like a lot of people don't know, on Instagram, this is kind of a, a fun feature, like we had somebody asking about like, you know, how can I do market research? How can I look into my area? If you go into Instagram and you go under locations mm. and you search, you know, nails Los Angeles or hashtag Los Angeles nails or you're going to see basically a ton of salons come up in your location and you can start to research the salons around you. You can probably inquire then pricing services, kind of what they do to get a feel of your right. market. I think utilizing social media is a great way to do that. Huge, huge. I do that for food. I do that for hair. hair. I do that for everything. And if you're not on there, you're missing out. You're Big missing time. out on business. Huge. This is where people turn to anymore. There's no phone books. There's yep. no new pa- newspaper. There's none of that no more. It's this. It's Instagram. Um, even on Facebook, you can do searches. Yeah. And um, even if you, let's say you're on there, right? But you don't post anything. You know, people want to be able to go to your page check it out i just did this with a restaurant checked out their page i'm like oh my god this looks amazing yep. was there in the next hour exactly that is how it works yep. um and so like not only to be on the receiving end but to even see you can see what's going on in your town like what's happening in los just type in location los angeles anaheim See what posts are coming up. Yeah. If there's a big concert going on, you'll know. Like yeah. people are going to post about it. Like it's such an incredible tool. This is where Instagram really just does so well. It's because it. they have they're so sophisticated in in how you can search um, and market at the same time, and you can find out everything you need to know about a city, a state. You know what's going on at that time. Um, just by using Instagram, which is why you need to be on there and why it's still the number one platform for me. Agree? Total. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts on top platforms for nails. Did I miss anything? I don't think I did, but let me know if I did. Would love to hear about it. And also, what do you want to hear from us? Any topics you'd love us to discuss? 
Let us know in the comments below. Tracy, thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us. We will see you next time on BizTalk.